In this video we'll show how you can create a button on a grid component to open up a UX component and pass arbitrary data from the grid uh, to the UX component. So you can see here we have a, uh, um, a grid component and when we click this button over here we're going to open up a UX component and we're going to display um, the uh, company name and contact name in the UX. Then when we close this uh, window down and click on another row, you can see that the UX now has the data from that row uh, over there. So we're passing in information from the current row from the company name field and the contact name field into the UX component. So let's go back now and see how this was done. So first let's go to the UX component. So we can see that uh, in the UX we have um, uh, our two controls company name and uh, contact name and what we've done over here is we've gone to uh, the default value of company name and we've set its value to an argument so we've defined an argument called uh, arg uh, text one so if we just go here to arguments we'll see we've got uh, two arguments arg text one and arg text two and we've assigned uh, default values to them here but those default values are going to get overwritten so this is just um, uh, so that we can see something when we're in design mode so when we switch to uh, preview we can see the default value for those two arguments so the default value for both of these controls has been set to an argument so um, uh, you can see if we just open up the help text here uh, for default value we can see that if you want to set the default value to an argument it tells you that you can use uh, the syntax equals uh, and then uh, colon and then the argument name so now that we we can see how to uh, set up the uh, component what I'm going to do right now is just temporarily go here and just comment out this code so that we can see what happens without this code and then I'll come back and explain this so now we go back to our grid and let's go to this button so we here's the button that's gonna um, open up the UX so you can see we've got open UX component and uh, we specified the name of our component and then in the argument binding section we said that the first argument is going to be bound to the company name field and that the second argument um, is going to be bound to the contact name field. Also notice that we've said here that we've got uh, use cached component is uh, turned on. So now let's go ahead here and click OK, save this, go to uh, working preview now and click on the button and we can see that what happens is um, the UX component got opened up, the argument values uh, that were defined in that UX component got populated from the uh, parent grid and then these uh, two controls got their default value uh, from the argument. But now I'm going to close this window down and go to another row now and click open and you can see that what happens here is that the UX opens up and because we said use a cached component the UX um, opened up immediately but uh, because a cached version of the UX was being used the grids on initialize event did not execute so so now the issue is how do we solve this problem where when you're opening up the cached component then uh, we need to fill in those values now we would not have this problem if we went back to our builder here and turned off this use cached component property but uh, if we do that then we're not going to get the benefit of uh, the UX opening up instantly uh, on the second time that you click the button because you'll be opening up a cached version so now let's go back to the uh, UX component and we can see that on the uh, server side events there's an event called on synchronize and this event fires when the uh, UX component is synchronized so let's go back to um, um, working preview now and actually run this now and you can see that the first time that we uh, click the button the synchronize event doesn't fire but the second time we click the button the synchronize event does, a fi does fire and uh, let's pause here and I'll pick this up in the next video where I explain uh, what this uh, component needs to do, what this event needs to do. So we're continuing our video now showing how you can pass 
information from a grid to a UX when you open up uh, the UX uh, from a button on the, on, on the grid. And we're talking now about the unsynchronize event which fires when a cached UX component is opened uh, the second and subsequent times. So you can see that uh, inside this E object we get told that there's an E dot arguments uh, which is the SQL arguments and then you can also basically set E dot JavaScript which is the JavaScript that you want to um, execute. So if we look at E dot arguments we can see that E dot arguments uh, 1 is the uh, company name and, and then if we were to go here and say uh, E dot arguments to dot data that's the uh, contact name so the JavaScript that we want to execute is the standard um, UX components uh, set value method so we want to set the value of the company name field to the value that's inside e dot arguments one and because we're generating JavaScript code here we need to call the JS escape uh, to um, make the make the string uh, JavaScript safe and then finally we uh, use the uh, the third um, parameter here is uh, comma false this is an optional argument that you can set for set value and by setting this argument to false if there was an on change event that had been defined for the company f name field we would not execute that on change event so we don't want to execute the um, on change event and then again here we set the value of uh, contact name and um, and then once we've defined this JavaScript we can just emit it so let's uh, run this now go back uh, to uh, design mode on the UX component and then uncomment this last line over here so now we're going to actually take this JavaScript that was generated and um, send it back to the clients so let's save that way we'll turn off the um, debugger there go back to the grid now and here we go so first we'll click on um, uh, Alfred um, uh, Futurik, uh, can't actually pronounce that, uh, Futurkista with Maria Anders and then click on say, uh, let's go to another page there and click on say this uh, record over here and there's the data. So what we've shown over here is how uh, we can open up a UX from a grid use arguments um, to pass arbitrary data from the grid to the UX component and uh, how we can also then use the uh, synchronize event uh, when the UX is open to second and subsequent times uh, taking advantage of uh, caching but still getting the correct information over to the UX component. Thank you very much for watching.